What's in a comma? For most of us, it's the difference between cannibalism and a pleasant date night. But for Dylan Slocum, lead singer and songwriter for Spanish Love Songs, it's a piece of punctuation that defines his band's latest record, Brave Faces Everyone. It's no surprise that punctuation matters for Dylan. He's a former journalist and film writer. Words have always been the cornerstone of his living, and they continue to be so on Spanish Love Songs' third album. Even from the band's low-profile first release, Giant Sings the Blues, it was clear that his quick turns of phrase and relatable observations could set the band apart from their peers. That debut was shortly followed by Schmaltz, a sophomore effort that pricked ears on the underground. It was a morose collection of autobiographical songs that details Slocum's struggles with mental health, losing his grandfather, and his own lack of success. But despite the gloomy outlook of the album, it contained a number of slogan-filled sleeper anthems that were soon being sung full-throated back at Slocum as the band toured relentlessly in support of it. Brave Faces Everyone, the band's third album, sees Slocum's lyrics switch target from himself to all of us. After spending three years touring the world with Schmaltz, he started to realise the issues he outlined on the album were not unique to himself. In Schmaltz, he used the personal pronoun I 216 times, but that's down to 112 in Brave Faces Everyone. To make up for that, he uses you 157 times versus 96 in Schmaltz, and we 54 times, up from 12. While Slocum's own troubles are definitely still documented on this album, this time they aren't problems he's facing alone. Slocum takes aim at the perilous financial existence of millennials. Well, we're gonna waste the days getting outpriced of our apartments. Hoping we don't go homeless, we sure as shit ain't moving home. No damn well they're in a promised land. The cost of living means the cost of stay alive. We'll touch you now. The contradictions of gentrification. Gotta find a place of my own where the fuck ups aren't cops. Patrolling neighborhoods they're afraid of. And the rest of us won't burn out. Displacing locals from neighborhoods we're afraid of. Climate change. So The constant threat of gun violence. Ducking in my seat, cause someone brought a bag into the movie theater. So what turns on the news like we need it? It's just another white man with a grudge. And the crippling symptoms of mental illness. So many opinions on how we live, but there's no option for A lot of the focus on the band has been on the bleakness of Slocum's lyrics, but all his topics are targeted with a wry smile. There's a dark and ironic humour that runs through the ten tracks here. It's in this title track, the album closer, when the whole album comes together and the shopping list of complaints about 21st century living gets flipped on its head. Yes, it's a title track, but with a subtle change. Instead of Brave Faces Everyone, it becomes Brave Faces... Everyone. That comma is so important. The phrase changes from an instruction to face hardships head on and hope for the best to become a description. Every face that Slocum sees as he travels around the world has withstood the same hardships he has, and they've come out the other side. It's a message that's reinforced by the bridge. Low in the mix are the refrains of the choruses of the rest of the album, echoes of the first nine tracks, a reminder of hardships that have passed and now just don't seem as significant. Aloha 
Far To No One, the outro track to the previous album Schmaltz, also uses callbacks. It's a direct answer to A Boy Considers His Haircut, and represents a defeated resignation that Slocum will never meet his ambitions. The final couplet sees us leaving Slocum in a seeming pit of despair. And hide under the sheets Your room will always be a mess On Brave Faces Everyone, at least, we are able to leave Slocum in a more positive state. Instead of resignation, he realises the fault lies not with himself, but in a society that constantly treads on him and everyone else. It might not seem like much of an enthusiastic ending, but given Slocum's politics and outlook, it's probably the best we're going to get. We don't have to fix everything at once. We were never broken. Life's just very long. Brave faces, everyone.